So, um, the only thing I will say about this tape, and we'll talk about it on the other side, but this is the one that allowed those people, particularly those senators who are struggling for their seats or congressmen who are trying to establish their bona fides on the right, who got the credit, you know, poor Ted Cruz d did it like the <laughs> opposite way. Ted Cruz handled this the way that I handle blackjack. Where like, I know that if I've got a 12 and the dealer's got a 12, it could go either way. The book says either way, hit or, but the point is you always do it the same way. And instead I would go with my intuition and I choose the wrong way each way. So I don't even get the law of averages. That's basically what Ted Cruz has done. This so is. that's what we've seen, but here it is. Now, let me tell you what this footage is. Having done uh, as a director and as a uh, executive producer and as an actor, but more so on the production side, many, many shoots similar to this uh, with a handheld camera, people with lavalier mics off in the distance. I can tell you that when I directed uh, I'm with Busey, we had stuff like this all the time, all the time. Mics on, little switch. It's a couple hours into a shoot. The guy who's mic'd doesn't realize he's mic'd. And it really just depends on, you know, how much uh, the people there, I imagine some of these people probably didn't like Billy Bush, uh, who is the, uh, the host. He seems so likable. And uh, they said, keep it. You know, that the producer said to the sound guy, keep it rolling. I want to hear this. And then it was stored somewhere. I could tell you right now, this happened in 2005. I directed I'm with Busey in 2003. It would take me an hour to find the stuff from Busey. And I know five guys who could find it too. So this is not that much of a surprise. So what you're seeing is a bus that's coming in. The cameraman has already been set up to get Donald Trump coming off the bus. That's the plan shot. There's a couple of uh, probably program people in the bus and Billy Bush, who is the host of whatever it is. What is this? Access Hollywood. One of the Bush cousins. And um, you're hearing the audio in there. Let's let this roll. And she used to be very, she's still very beautiful. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. And I did try and fuck her. She was married. <laughs> huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was marriages. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit in the purple. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh, yes, the Donald is good. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my man. Wait, wait. You got to look at me when this you get out of here. Pause, pause it. Pause it for one great. second. Pause it for one second. That's Billy Bush. The, yes, you're, you're, you're girls. Let me tell you something. That guy, if that guy works on television again on a non like sleazy, you know, like, I mean, I could say, yeah, I to think. To catch a predator? Yeah. Reboot. I mean, honestly, no, that's too good for him. Yeah. This guy, what a scumbag he is, too. I, it, until now, the end, he comes off worse. In all fairness, he was only 35 at the time. That's exactly right. I mean, so as Matt and I were telling you, at free range to at least boy, thirty-five. Boy, you still are learning some of the basic things about how to treat people. Not to, oh, shoddy shit, Donald, Donald. I mean, the 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 level of mutual ass kissing, like the sycophant. This relate is so gross. It's disgusting. So gross. All right, uh, continue. You give me the thumbs okay, up. Dude. You are a piece. You gotta put the thumbs up. You gotta okay. get the thumbs up. You can't be too happy. Else off first? Yeah, let me. It's very funny. You gotta give the thumbs up. Right, right, you and I will walk there. Oh my god. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the public. No, it's it's her. It's yeah, that's her with the gold. I gotta use some tic tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> you can do anything. Look oh, at those legs. All I can see is the legs. No, it looks good. Come on, Shorty. Oh, nice legs, huh? 
Oof, get out of the way, honey. That's good legs. Go ahead. Pause it. Pause it. What are they doing in the bus? <laughs> like, honestly, like, when I hear two guys talk like this, I think these guys are not attracted to women. That's, I just think that, like, yeah. they're literally just like, oh, those legs go way up uh, to her face. Like, they have vaginas and everything. Yeah, just I mean, there's hot. just something so weird about this. And then the guy's yelling at this woman walking by, like, don't ruin my view. Oh, like, my God. Are these guys Get masturbating the on a cookie in that bus or something? All right, continue. It's always good if you don't fall out of the bus. Like Ford, Gerald Ford, remember? <laughs> Down below. Pull the hell. Hello, how are you? Hi. Nice how nice are seeing you. you. Nice Terrific. Nice to meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. How are you doing, Ariel? I'm doing very well, thank you. Are you ready to be a soap star? We're ready. Let's go. Make right. me a soap star. How about absolutely. a little hug for the Donnelly? You just got off the bus. Like a little okay, hug, absolutely. <laughs> Melania said hug this for the was okay. I just got off the bus. Uh, bushy, bushy. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Well, Come you've on. got a nice co-star here. Good. Yes. Absolutely. After you. Come on, Billy. Don't be shy. <laughs> as soon as a beautiful woman shows up, he just he takes Get over here. All right, hold on. Pause it for one more second. I got to comment on this thing. Okay. This is the part, too, about with Trump coming out of the bus. Like, you know, uh, we're hearing a lot about Clinton saying that you've got to have a uh, policy that you discuss in private, and sometimes you've got to say things differently in public. And which, I, I, I personally, I don't find that shocking, but um, that she would say it or that that's the case with with uh, politicians, period. But what we just saw with Donald Trump is um, that he's actually worse in private than he is in public. But also we saw like you can watch like here they are talking about like grabbing this woman's pussy and, uh, you know, I'm going to kiss her and this and that. And then he walks out. It's th that is to me the most creepy, the creepiest moment. It's incredibly creepy. And then when Billy Bush is like, "Oh, let me see if I can get the Donald a hug," that to me is just like, man, what a bunch of losers. Well, we've been desensitized almost. I feel like by this, like when I first watched it, I got physically ill at that point. It literally was disgusting. All right, let's just watch the rest. I mean, this is just uh, sick of fan stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come here. Uh, let the little guy in there. Come yeah, on. let the little guy in. How you feel now? Better? I should actually. It's hard to middle. walk next to a guy like here, this. Hold on. Yeah, you get in the middle. There we go. Good. That's better. This is much better. This right. is. That's better. <sighs> now, if you had to choose, honestly, between one of us, huh. me or the Donald. No, I don't know. That's, that's tough competition. Right yeah. Seriously, I mean, you had to. You had to take one of Seriously. us as a date. You have to take a fifth on that one. <laughs> really? Yep. I'll take both. Where are we going? <laughs> Which way? Make it right. Here we go. Goodbye. By both, I mean neither. Right. Here he goes. I'm going to leave you here. Come okay. Get my microphone. Okay. You going to Oh, you you finished? You're my man. Yeah. Oh, good. Reset. I'm going to go do our show. Oh, you want to reset? Okay. Okay, so they're uh, resetting now and they have other cameras probably that are, are doing it. Uh this guy is a, a a a Bush relative. And I mean, have they interviewed the woman yet? Have they interviewed this woman? I mean, you like you can tell what's going through her head. It's just like, ah. Oh, these guys are both dicks. She knows it. Is there, just she has zero doubt. With like, is there a more sort of notable artifact of rape culture, like in actual society, than this? Like, I don't know what the uh, like immediate artifact of that actually caught in the wild. Like, it's it's got to top it, right? Uh, it's uh, it's it, it's disturbing. I, I'm not I'm not terribly surprised that Donald Trump and and I've I mean I've talked about like I I, I imagine. Did we talk about this afterwards yesterday? My, my Friday must Friday. have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I've had guys who said stuff to me where you're just like, what? Like, you don't even know me. Like, like, why would you just presume that you could say those types well, of things? Well, you know, Sam, some of them look past the point that you look like a lesbian literature professor, <laughs> and they give you the benefit of a doubt that you might actually be a man. Like when I first met you and I said, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. It's like a magnet. It's unbelievable. I need Tic Tacs because if you've been to Rabbit Island, they'll let you do. I mean, you can kiss them, grab them by the pussy, whatever. It's true. It's really true. It's just I'm always. Just oh, sure my God. Like she's it. hot as shit. <laughs> it's just always like when I meet 
and I've met guys who who will will say that. To, like, I mean, have you actually met a guy who said anything specifically as bad as that? Because I've heard no, all I actually sorts have not. of gross shit. I have never heard anything as specifically as bad as that. No, and I think they're part of that is probably also a function of like. You know, Donald Trump has an incredible amount of narcissism and he's surrounded by sycophants. I'm not surrounded by people like that. So, <laughs> Witness <laughs> 10 yeah. seconds ago. Right. So I don't I don't have people who are like. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad. Imagine poison. we should we should do but, but I, like we I should say, do a trial I was at a, run. I was at a bar see what happens with to you. a with a guy who worked at Air America, who I had met for the first time at that bar. Introduced, the guy said, "I I I, I can't." It was it was like a, it was just like a really nasty sexist joke. Do you, do you I, fully not remember it? I sort of do. It was something like the effect of like, like literally, it was a complete non sequitur. It's like, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe I think the uh, one of the guys said, where's your wife? I said, oh, she's, you know, uh, taking care of my or something. And then he said, just out of the blue, um, this guy was a financial guy at, at the, uh, what's, what are the, um, what is the three things man needs to live? I'm like, I don't know. He goes, uh, pussy, strange pussy, and strange pussy. It and shocks I, me that Air America did not have a turnaround <laughs> under his leadership. <laughs> this sounds like a brilliant man. I just, I just looked at him. I was like, what? Nice to meet you. I I'm going to say something totally disgusting I now. I thought, like, I thought, because I, I didn't get along particularly well with management, I thought, like, are they setting me up here? Like, are they trying to record me or something? Like, what, the, what, what, what is that guy, what is he talking about? Like, I'm the host of a liberal talk radio show. Wait, like, like, who else would you not say that to? It's 10.45 a.m. After we got through the actuarial tables, we have some ladies from Scores to stop by. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Cedar here. I mean, and it wasn't like, you know, like. Progressive talk, I progressive have, babes. Air I have. A lot of friends who are comedians, and comedians say horrible, disgusting things. But they're all, I mean, for the most part, like done with a tremendous sense of irony. At least my friends. Didn't it sound ironic? And no, he was not being, he was, this, this is like the way that, I think for, for this guy, it was like, this is how you bond with other guys. And I was just like, oh my God. And I was there with a guy who is a, who I knew from film, you know, it was more of like an artist, not a finance guy. And I just turned to him. I'm like, can you fucking believe this shit? And it was, I, what did, how, what did, how did he respond after what he said just like landed there? I don't think he, he just, just, we like, just went by it. Like, yeah, am I, I right? I, Drinks? It's, it's quite possible. He walked off with, uh, the, the, the CEO at the time and just said, and like, man, what a pussy. Let's reassign Cedar's what, time what, spot. Yeah, again. exactly. <laughs> That dude's, he's not. Oh, fuck that guy. That dude, not a team player. It's like Serpico. <laughs> exactly what it's like. It's like Serpico. It's Serpico. <laughs> yeah. You know, Sam, you don't have to agree with the pussy comments, but we'd feel a lot more comfortable if you <laughs> nod your head during them. <laughs> just a little bit of cackling just to let the guys know that you think it's funny and like. You don't got to make any yourself. Just, uh, you know. <laughs> Communicate that you're with us. We're all in this locker room together. That's all we're saying. It's unbelievable. So that's that. Now hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, some over. Subscri subscribe.